we're getting a picture on the TV. So we had a good picture, huh? Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out a fair amount of detail. Okay, when you verify the position, uh, the uh, opening I ought to have on the camera. Stand by. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked, uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's, uh, that is not collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Takes a pretty good little jump. Buzz, this is Houston, F2, 1 160th second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. Yeah, I'm going to step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yes, the uh, surface is fine and powdery. I can loosely with my toe, it does adhere to, in the fine layers uh, like uh, powdered charcoal to the, uh, to the sole and, and sides of my boot. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads in the fine Sandy particles. Neil, this is Houston. We're copying. Um, there seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected. Uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 1-6-G that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Okay, the Ethan uh, engine did not leave a crater of any size. It uh, has about one foot clearance on the ground. We're uh, essentially on a very level place here. Uh, I can see uh, some evidence of, uh, of rays emanating from the descent engine, but uh, very insignificant amount. <laughs> 